All right, let's try now. We'll see if it's working. Is it working? Let's see. I'm gonna wave. All right, let's try now. We'll see if it's working. Yep, that worked. So I think I knew I know I know how to fix it. Let's go to the audio MIDI wave. setup. Okay, so let's configure. All right, so I think this is good. Okay, let me make sure it's live on Facebook and we'll get going. I'll just share my screen so you guys can see here as well. Um, all right, let's make sure it's streaming. Yep, looks like it's streaming. So I will share this link with the people that asked about it. I think here's the link. So, all right, and I'm hearing the desktop audio. So let me apply live now. And there we go. So let me just post on LinkedIn that I'm live. And if anyone wants to jump on Hangouts, I'll post that link as well. So let me just go to my profile. We'll go ahead and post this. Live now. On Facebook. join the conversation here and we'll post a link to the Google Hangouts. Also streaming on YouTube using this cool tool called restream.io. So if anyone is interested, they can join the conversation. Okay. Live now, join conversation here. Just repeated myself, let's fix that. And then let's post on the live show in the comments that people can join. All right, so I'll just pull up the Google Hangouts, and then in case anyone hops on, they can join us on the call. So this is here, we've got Restream going, LinkedIn is done. All right, I'll just get started then. So my plan for today was just to do an SEO analysis for a new potential client that I'm talking to, uh, talking to one of our partners who has worked with them, to see if there's any kind of SEO opportunity uh, potentially for them. So I'm gonna be doing some keyword research and some competitor analysis so you guys can get an idea of what, what it looks like uh, when we investigate an opportunity. Um, and then of course, if somebody has a question about their own business or one of their clients, I'm always happy to change the subject and hop on with them. But for now, it's just gonna be a work session unless somebody else has something more relevant. I'm gonna be checking Facebook occasionally, uh, but it looks like the Restream application actually sends in the Facebook messages here. So hopefully I'll get notified if someone has a question. And then looks like on YouTube, I can see that as well. So I'll just get started. Let me share my screen. And hopefully you guys can see that. I'm just going to double check it on YouTube to make sure it works correctly. I'm just going to mute myself real quick. Okay, it looks like it is working correctly. Make sure the audio still works. Okay, it is working. 
And let me throw up, uh, I know QuickTime, you can do a little camera in the corner. So I'll just throw that up so you guys can still see me. Maybe we'll do a show about how to actually set this up in a different conversation. So new. Um, actually, I'm not sure how to do this. So I'll just quit that out. We'll hop on video whenever someone has a question. Okay, so let's jump into the site. So let's start with Ahrefs and Google. So these are always a good starting point for an SEO analysis is just to look at how does Google see their see their website. And we can use a tool that we have called Ahrefs. It's a pretty high-end SEO tool. You can plug in any website or, I mean, it can do a lot of things, but in this case, I'm just going to be plugging in one of their websites to see where sort of the strengths and weaknesses are and going from there. So just right off the bat, I can see that there are definitely some weaknesses when it comes to link building um, on that aspect. So let me take a screenshot, drop it into my notes, go from there, um, pop that in like that. So basically what I'm seeing here is their DR is 0 0.6. So that's pretty low. That's about as low as it can go besides zero. Uh, and what that means is that when you look at competitive keywords, like for example, I know that they want to rank for gold IRA rollover. They're probably not going to be showing up because most of the other websites, besides having great content, are likely going to be more powerful than they are. So. I just searched gold IRA rollover in this tool, and it tells me the DR scores of all the other websites. You can see the lowest one here is DR41. So that's definitely um, a lot higher than zero. Now, 41 is not unrealistic. Like, there are, we've worked with clients that have stronger websites like this, so it's not completely out of reach. The other interesting opportunity we see is that there are. For example, there's a Forbes article actually from 2017 that ranks for this keyword. So what that tells me is they could rank, I'll take a snapshot of this, is we could write a Forbes article to outrank them. So some people have access to write articles for Forbes. And you know, as long as you're very clearly non-promotional and things like that, they have a lot of strict guidelines, um, you can, you know, you can't publish for them. So I'll put a note, Forbes.com ranks number three with a very old article. We might be able to overtake them by writing our own article for Forbes. So just a note there. Um, and of course, I've got the Google Hangouts link. So if anyone jumps on, we'll just start the conversation there. All right, so let's see what's next. So we looked at links a little bit. I guess let's take a quick look at some of their bigger competitors just to see how far they are. So a lot of these sites looks like they have individual pages. Uh, Gold IRA Guide looks like a pretty direct competitor. And we'll, we'll make a list of direct and indirect competitors as well. Direct competitors, indirect competitors. So this is like competing for the same keywords, but different business model, audience, uh, direct competitors would be, they do the same thing, and compete for the same terms. An example of this would be like an accounting company in Seattle that does bookkeeping. They might, might, they might wanna rank for like Seattle bookkeeping and there's 10 other people that do Seattle you know, bookkeeping for companies in Seattle. So it's a pretty much a direct competitor, but maybe if you search Seattle bookkeeping and if there's like an article from QuickBooks that comes up, QuickBooks is obviously not a direct competitor. So they would be an indirect competitor. I mainly care about direct competitors because that's who we're gonna compare them to, to understand what their potential could be for the future. Um, all right, so let me grab this domain, goldiraguide.com. I'll just check it out to see, is this an informational site or is this an actual business that does something similar, free? Looks like they have a lead gen. 
Yep, looks pretty... They've got a lot of information. It's not clear. Interesting. Um, hard to tell. Hard to tell if they actually sell you something. Um, compensation from ads and banners that you see. Interesting. So they could actually be some sort of partner if... Um, Gold IRA rollover. I think that's the keyword that they're trying to rank for. Um, yeah, they're very aggressively. I'll take a note that they've got some good ideas for lead magnets. Probably indirect at this point. So this is a lead gen site. Good ideas for lead magnets here. Um, da, da, da. I'm just going to check the links to see if they link to a specific company. All internal links. Um, click here. Yep, they're internal. They review other companies. So I think they are a lead join. I guess let's see if our potential client here is already listed. So these are reviews in comparison. Well, they're not already listed, so I guess it's worth worth uh, seeing if it makes sense. Now they might also, this site might also just own goldiraguide.com, Regal Assets, they might own this site. Sometimes the people that run it, you know, a, 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 a store in an industry where they sell a product, they also own a review website in that same industry. So right here, it says the owners of this website may be paid to recommend real assets. The content of this website, including positive reviews, uh, may not be independent or neutral. So they're very aggressively disclosing things. Uh, might be owned by Regal Assets, a competitor. Interesting. All right. So basically what I'm looking for here, I'm just trying to find competitors that um, have a lot of traffic to see what the potential would be if this campaign was successful, uh, what it would do for them. Um, okay, USA Gold, Retirement Living, Smart Bitcoin Investments, Lear Capital. Again, these are a little hard to tell. I have to really investigate each one to see. I doubt Retirement Living is it. USA Gold maybe. I'll check these three just to see if they're a direct competitor. What do they do? Gold and bullion. Probably they sell gold, but it's not what this potential client does. Yeah, they just sell the product. These guys buy gold and silver coins. These guys sell the coins in the IRAs, it looks like. So they could be direct competitors. I'll just put them as a potential on the list. And then what's next? New direction, investment opportunities. Uh, looks like they do a lot of different things, but this is definitely a competing page. So I'll put them as direct as well. I'll just put that they do a lot of other investments too. And these guys also sell coins. I'm not actually seeing a good um, direct competitor now that you know I'm trying to find one. A lot of these companies, they do multiple different things. And if I look for gold IRA rollover, let's see if there's any goldsilver.com, shift gold, text metals. I'll just check some of these, even though they're lower ranking. Buy precious metals. Yeah, they're kind of doing both. I'll, I'll probably stop recording these guys just because there's too many that are not really direct, sort of direct competitors, but not really. Also sell coins plus other things. Uh, I'm looking for someone who's directly competing because that's going to be the best model for what to strive for. Um, 
Yeah, these guys don't aren't really even doing IRAs, tech spindles. Uh, no, these guys sell both. So same thing. I think I'll just start making a list of also sell coins plus other things. Because it seems like it's more common than not that. Um, That's the case. Yeah, so just going nationwide, blah, blah, blah. Yep, same deal. I'm just gonna not record these at this point because these are lower ranking. Yep, they, seems pretty common. So most people, it seems like, also actually sell the product. They don't just do a, um, IRA type of thing. Uh, I'm just going to double check to see if there's anybody on Facebook that has a question at this point. Otherwise, I'll just get back to this. So I'll just double check this. Loading kind of slowly here. I guess streaming takes up some bandwidth. All right, uh, just gonna. Nope, looks like no questions. Easy. All right, I'll just get back to work then. So if you guys do have questions, feel free to post it in the Facebook comments. I do check them, as well as if you're watching on YouTube, feel free to post it there. Otherwise, I'll just keep working. And uh, like I said, you know, it's office hours. So what's next? We've got some competitor research some indirect competitors, not really found any direct competitors yet. Um, let's try one more search. Let's just search, search gold IRA and see what comes up. These are all information, AP, MEX. I'll look at these ones as well just to see. Um, yeah, these also sell kind of everything. I'll put these on the list just because there might not be a more direct competitor that we could find. Uh, products, yeah, same deal. These are all interesting. I guess, so this prospective client that we're looking at must be pretty unique then because most competitors seem like they're not just selling the product. I mean, most competitors seem like they're selling the physical product in addition to uh, this financial product. Um, so let's take a note on that. Most competitors sell physical gold in addition to the IRA financial product. All right, so that's interesting. What's next? Um, so linked metrics we've already gotten. So I'll, we'll do like kind of a review at the top. So there's content, links, technical. We haven't looked too closely at their content. Let's just poke around and see what they've got on their site. So site, we'll do the same thing, gold IRA rollover. See what they've got, kind of what's their best page for this. So goes to their home page, which is not a great sign. Um, traditional IRA, private storage. So we'll look at these three to see. It might be that because their homepage, their site is all about. So it shows us not secure. It's interesting. I wonder if it says why. Um, okay, we'll grab the snapshot, put it under technical. Um, so we'll put... Thanks. Cool. Center technical factors. Not fully. GPS. Um, we'll investigate why that is later. Uh, most likely there's an image or some sort of third party script. Maybe it's this chat widget that um, 
is doing that. So this is the first page that came up for Gold IRA rollover on their site. So I'll just look through this, um, just to understand what is Gold IRA, learn more. So that could be why choose us, experience protection, blah, 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 request a free investor's guide. So there's not really a lot of long form content in here. Um, if I click on gold, what happens? It goes to investment products. Hmm. So it's not clear to me either. I mean, I thought, yeah, okay, so they're just doing gold investments. Makes sense. So this is kind of their FAQ page. Before investing in gold IRA, what time and account is going to transfer? What exactly is a gold IRA? So this, this page has that long, that nice content that Google wants to see. Um, it is it is a little short, though, compared to some of the competitors. So I'll put... Um, Content is probably a C because they have sort of a good starting point, but they're not really there yet. Um, they're looking. They're looking in the right direction. Needs to boost word count. Needs better on-page optimization. So let's say. Like the keyword they want to rank for is gold IRA rollover, right? So let's look at the H1 and the title tag and see what's going on. So title just says gold IRA FAQ, doesn't say rollover anywhere. H1, gold IRA FAQ. Again, not, not a lot of keyword. I mean, it has gold IRA, think, thankfully, but just not, not a lot of specific keyword usage here. And then H2. So they are using the right headings structure. And these could actually show up for snippets. For example, does the government approve a gold IRA? If somebody searches that, then their snippet is actually well optimized. It says, yes, the federal government has approved precious metals IRAs. So this could be better because you want to directly answer it. Yes, the, the government does approve gold IRAs. For example, precious metals IRAs. Anyways, basically the point is that they've got a good starting point. Good starting point, but it's not there yet. Let's look at that other site that came up, Gold IRA Guide. I think this is probably going to be our best reference in terms of a competitor. Closest, direct, competitor for keywords. And most likely what they're going to want to do is create um, blog posts and guide content like this of their own on their own site. Um, to internally link to that page. So let's say, uh, let's go back to, this is the article. So let's look at, for comparison, we'll look at the word counts. Direct competitor for gold all over, ranks on page one. So let's go to word count tools and check the word count betting that this is going to be a lot longer than the other one. And actually, it's not too long, so there's definitely room to beat it. So let's paste. It's about 1594 words. Words. And how about this potential client? How are they doing? Um... Seven oh two. All right. Uh, Seven oh two words. So our so monetary gold dot com should three x the word count be more competitive. Um, let's look at the size of the site as well. So. See again how many pages they've got. I've already got it open here. Let's see. So 31 pages, a very small site versus that other one. Betting this is a much larger site. And we've, we've already seen a lot more pages just in the navigation. But let's just see. 1,041 results. Okay, so they've obviously got uh, all these visit pages. What is this? Interesting. This is like a directory site. Redirects to brinks.com. Weird. 
Interesting. So these seem like these pages don't actually exist anymore. They just redirect to other sites. Interesting. Very weird and interesting. But um, at the very least, it seems like they've gotten more content on their site through guide content and things like that. Category website. What is this? Some weird stuff on here. It looks like it is WordPress, so most likely they're using the Yoast SEO plugin, which if they are, then they should have a sitemap located here. Let's find out. Nope. Let's try sitemap.sql. Using another sitemap plugin. So this is a sitemap that links to all their posts. I'll just click on the most recent one. So we've got like four in April. Um, four, five, six, seven, seven in March. Uh, let's keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten in February. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13 in uh, January. So they're publishing about 10 posts a month. Guide.org is publishing 10 blog posts a month on related topics and internally linking relevant pages. Um, okay, so we've got a good idea there. And then so their site is obviously much larger, if we had to guess, probably in the hundreds of pages in terms of content. If likely over 300 pages of blog posts. Okay, so this potential client definitely needs to step it up in terms of content to be anywhere close to competitive. Now let's look at, um, so that's, pretty, that's a pretty good picture in terms of content. So I would, in terms of content, I can already probably grade them. I would give them like a C minus, um, maybe a D, right? This isn't really passable. Like the site is just so small. Um, if they were going to improve one thing, this is probably the biggest thing to improve. Links, I would also probably give a D. And I actually, I put that at worst because at least there is some content. It's not like terrible content. It's not like the code is screwed up. Technical, I think technically they're probably fine. Let's just see. What's going on in this site? Resources. Is it at least WordPress? Let's find out. Um, These are like weirdly structured pages. I would assume it's probably not WordPress, but let's find out. WPB is WordPress, thankfully. So it's going to be easy to work with. Um, they've got their own custom theme, it looks like. The WordPress site is a WordPress website. Just check in on questions real quick. Um, oh, nice. Jay has a question. Are any supporting articles interlinking to that money page or pages you could recycle and interlink? What is the location target? Um, so I think you're asking, um, do you want to have supporting articles interlinking to a money page? Yeah, you definitely want to have supporting articles linking to your money pages, for sure. Um, anything you could recycle and interlink. Uh, I'd be really careful about recycling content, just because most people tend to screw it up. So, for example, when like when I would say in terms of recycling content, maybe extending is, is a better word. So, for example, this this guy has a physical gold versus ETF page. Now this could be a great long form article talking about physical gold versus gold ETFs. Um, it's just structured in this kind of weird way. Google isn't really processing this correctly. Um, pros and cons are definitely good to have on a page, but it doesn't read very well. And even for a user, you know, it's kind of weird to jump around. Like if I land on this page, what is it about? Why do I care? Um, overall, they've got good stuff. I think reformatting it into like a blog post format could be a good good idea, a good thing to do. So if you've got any other questions, Jay, feel free, happy to help. Or if you just want to jump on the Hangouts, I posted the link in Facebook as well. So just jump on and if you've got your own site and you've got questions about it, I'm happy to help. Um, anyways, as far as these guys go, uh, 
yeah, overall, they definitely need to work on their content. So I think, you know, C is pretty, a pretty fair grade. So just to recap what they need to do, um, they need to basically enhance, right, more content for pages they already have, target correct keywords, probably reformat some other pages into long form blog posts and internally link to money pages to support their rankings and also write um, you know eight to ten blogs a month on related topics to support the main posts. Um, now, you know, that's what they would need to do to be competitive with these guys called the, that other gold IRA site. Most of their other competitors probably are not even on that level. So this is this is definitely going to put them ahead in terms of content. Um, so I think we've got a pr pretty good sort of situation there. 702 words versus, uh, I'm not going to repeat myself here. Um, let's just remove this. Good starting points, not there yet. Um, keyword usage in H1 title, et cetera. Uh, let's start competitor. It's more word count, 3x the word count. Okay, cool. So I think we're pretty much good in terms of content. I'm sure we could do keyword research and identify a lot of different topics they could write about. So let's just you know, you can take a quick look, for instance, um, let's put in that other site into Ahrefs, goldiraguide.com, goldiraguide.org, actually. I, I would bet it's not just one page they have that's ranking. I would bet they have a lot of different pages that are ranking. So 5K traffic is not like a huge number, but with the kind of business that they're in, you know, every customer could be worth thousands of dollars. I would not be surprised if this this website's making a ton of money. So let's just look at what they've got. Um, interesting. They actually rank for some companies in the industry. Trump Coin 2020. Some weird terms in here. But the, the overall point is you can see they're ranking number one for a lot of these, or top five or top three for a lot of these longer tail keywords. And so this is what I would encourage. Um, maybe not the companies. Let's exclude companies. That's Probably not a direction I would encourage uh, these guys to go into, but just excluding that, there's always noble gold, Trump coin, just related topics, French silver coins, uh, types of accounts. Uh, price of gold, they probably won't rank for. So let's look at positions, just one to 10. Okay, so what are we left with? Pure silver coins, AMARC silver bars, gold price forecast, right? A lot of things people are interested in, different topics we could work with. All right, so I think that's pretty clear. So as far as link building, uh, let's see how the site is doing from a link building perspective, because they are, I would say, like one of the primary competitors when it comes to these keywords. So let's see. So they're DR45, 921 backrings, free domains. So I'll just grab this snapshot here and put this in here for link building. So this is monetarygold.com. This is versus competitors. So it looks like they're going to need a lot of referring domains. Um, it, it just there's really not anything to work with here. So this is definitely where most of the cost and time and effort is going to be in terms of an SEO campaign is in link building. They're you know starting from basically ground zero, um, and they don't really have anything to work with. So I put this at a D minus. I wouldn't say it's an F, just because. You know, there's sites with zero links at all. 34 is a fine starting point. You know, the site's been around. Google recognizes it. It's not completely dead. Um, so it's a good starting point. Just, um, 
you know, they they need probably they need in the realm of hundreds. They would need, you know, hundreds of links to catch up. Ranking. Um, most of the time and money for this campaign would likely be in link building. Definitely the biggest weakness I've seen so far. Uh, okay, cool. Just double check if there's anything on LinkedIn. Okay. Next is so I think I think link building is pretty is a pretty clear picture. I guess I should look at some of these other competitors just to get a clear picture of um, their specific pages. So there's a cool tool if you go to more batch analysis where you can put in a bunch of sites all at once. We'll do URL mode. So I just want to care about this exact URL and just see how they're doing in terms of link building. So most competitors have at least nine, at least 20 overall referring domains, I guess 19, 19 or 20. And the best competitors have 58. And that's just to their gold IRA rollover page. So that's just a one page. So keep that in mind. Um, We'll list them here. Most competitors have a minimum of 19 upwards of 58 referring domains just, just to their gold IRA rollover page. not their entire site many there are many more for the entire site that's the key note there is just to this one page look at how many links these guys have these are not even backlinks this is referring domains this is different websites that link to them so 20 33 19 43 41 58 20 like very aggressive seo going on here this is not a, you know, this is not going to be a walk in the park. This is a very competitive industry. Um, you know, maybe in some other industries, you might see competitors with zero links or just a few. The fact that we're seeing so many means that these guys are definitely, definitely know what they're doing and they're not, you know, messing around. So I'll just look at one other thing, which is the keyword gold IRA rollover. see what's going on with that and I'll take the snapshot here because you can see there's some competitors with even more just for this keyword okay And I'll put competitors for competitors for gold array rollover start at 41 dr. And how many referring domains does the lowest one have? Six referring domains. Um, highest is. 91 dr, 93 dr, and 299 referring domains. So this is definitely going to be very expensive to work on. Not a cheap project at all. Let me make this bold. S T A R T. Start at 41 dr. This might be the maximum in some other niches, right? But this is what they start at. So this is not. Not a not a walk in the park for sure. All right, so what's next? Um, yeah, so taking a look at it, links is definitely the weakest point. Um, technical, let's do a quick technical audit. We'll use a tool called Screaming Frog. Take a look at it. 
Um, fortunately, I think they're using um, WordPress, which thankfully takes care of a lot of basic SEO things out of the box. You don't have to custom program them. Let's just see if they're using Yoast. They are using the Yoast plugin. 11.8 is relatively recent. It's got to be in the last year or two. We've got some schema going on, it looks like. So somebody bothered to upload an image into the schema plugin. So it's not completely um, there's something to work with here. So let's just crawl the site and see what's going on. Home page is taking a while to load, so that's somewhat concerning. We'll see what happens. Uh, let me make sure there's not anything going on for my end here. Let's make sure I'm using the proper user agent. Let's use the Google user agent just to make sure. Sometimes these sites will block robots from crawling their site, which is totally reasonable. Um, but it just makes this a little harder to analyze their website. We'll come back to this, see if anyone has any questions. No questions yet. Um, we'll take a look. So content, we talked about links, technical. Uh, we're taking a close look at their technical factors just because they've had some HTTPS issues. Let's see. Uh, we'll do a, a page speed and a HTTPS test as well. OK, there we go. So that took a long time. How long did it take to load this page? Um, close this response times. So huh, weird. OK, I guess it wasn't too long. Let's see if I can find the 0.14. Hmm, not sure why. Maybe it's just Screaming Frog, the program, running kind of slowly on my computer. Otherwise, it shows that their site is super fast. So no issues there for sure. Um, we'll see where it lands. But so far, so good. It's, you know, honestly, one of the fastest sites I've seen. Uh, I know that they're doing some PPC. And site speed is definitely something worth optimizing for when you're doing Google Ads. right? If um, your site's too slow to show your you know, landing page to the visitors you're paying for, basically throwing away money down the drain. So it's good to see that they've taken the time to really fix their response times. So this is definitely improving their grade in my book. So technical factors look good. Grab this and drop it into the notes. Um, very fast response times. Very fast. And screaming frog. Let's see if there's any response code errors. Um, not really. They've got a few 301 redirects, but no broken pages as far as we can see. Um, some internal 301 redirects. Um, can easily be fixed by correcting internal links to point to the final destination and not the intermediate one. But technically, so far, they look pretty good. Um, HTTPS. Cherrygold.com. See what Google thinks. And we'll do that HTTPS test as well. And I guess there's that Google Mobile friendly test, Google. I would assume that they're fine, but we'll, we'll double check. That is a key point, though. So far, we've just been looking at their site on a computer. 
Uh, it might be completely different once you start checking it out through the perspective of a uh, the perspective of a uh, smartphone. Um, HTTPS. Um, Let me close out Screaming Frog because it does slow down my computer. Um, I don't think there's really anything else we can learn in here. The site's generally pretty quick. There might be a few things internally to redirect or to, to correct, but I don't see too many real issues. Uh, maybe some category pages that could be redundant, but not really seeing anything too technically wrong. Um, some of these pages get a little too deep. Seven pages of author posts for a site that's only 172 pages overall it's probably overkill so I'll come back to this and just close let's save this crawl actually save monetary gold seo spider yep let's save that here and close this out so this is a two on mobile page speed. So mobile might be a big problem for them. So I'll take a quick note of that. Um, this is for desktop. Uh, Google page speed scores very low on mobile. Uh, let's grab the score from up here. Field data. Doesn't have enough real world data, so this is just from a test. Um, server images, next gen formats, so lazy loading could help. Uh, render blocking resources, CSS. Okay, so there's definitely, interesting. I'm surprised that there's such a big difference between how fast it loaded on our crawl versus how long it took on this test. So that's interesting. All right, it is mobile friendly. There's some loading issues, let's see. This is all looks like external. Oh, other error. Some of the styles in jQuery aren't loading. Uh, da, 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 JavaScript errors. Okay, this is not a huge deal, but the page speed is definitely a problem. Let's do the SSL test because I know that seemed like it was an issue. Um, you grab the speed. 42 out of 100. Mobile, grab the desktop. Actually, let's just do this to make it simple. All right, and then I wonder why there's such a big difference in response times. If I had to guess what's going on, maybe their HTML is getting to me quickly over the wire, but then actually showing the page, rendering the content, running it on my computer, or running it in Google's computer in this case, is very slow, so we'll see. Uh, we're doing the SSL test here. Um, we'll see what we find here. It is trusted, which is good. Let's do another speed test, actually. GT metrics. See, sometimes Google can have issues, but overall the site's loading quickly. So I'll just use a, a third-party test. Monetarygold.com. Overall, it seems like uh, seems like they're doing okay from technical factor. Um, probably some work to be done on mobile, but besides that, not too bad. I am curious why Chrome was showing the not secure notice. So we'll do some testing on that and figure it out. If I had to guess, it's probably due to mixed content. That's the most common issue that I've seen. Monetary gold. 
Um, so let's just double check it overall. Um, put this in here. Actually, the SSL thing was right here. Self test shows a score. So then what actually is the problem? All right, we'll figure it out through Chrome Inspector. So I do inspect, go to network. It must be loading some mixed content. That's If I had to guess, that's what's going on. Mixed content means you've got insecure content coming in while also um, on a secure page, basically. So this is a secure, it might be loading and secure content from other pages or other sites. And if that's the case, then um, you're gonna get these errors. Um, interesting, not seeing, huh, I wish it would tell you why it's not secure in Google Chrome. Maybe it's this, settings. Hmm. Nope, not clear where the issues are. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, blocked, okay, I've got an ad blocker, so obviously it's gonna block some things. It's not really the concern. If I had to guess, there might be some third party stuff. Let's just view the page source and try that. Oh, there it is, okay, found it. So you've got these images, this is super easy to fix. So there's, an, there's a Twitter image linked here that is insecure. And there are some links to other pages that are not secure. So links to insecure pages. I'll put this, this, this is super easy to fix. Um, there's links to insecure pages on the homepage and a Twitter card is insecure. Link to an image. I don't know why there's not a test for this. It seems like it's pretty simple. Um, I think this could be updated in the Yoast plugin. Update image used in the referenced in the Yoast. Again. All right, guys, well, we, we've been almost going for an hour here. So if you guys have any last questions, now is your last chance to jump on. I'm going to be wrapping up in about five or 10 minutes as I finish up this analysis. Um, so just to give him a kind of a score, I think overall, technical factors probably a B. Really, there's only one thing that I think needs to be fixed, and that's the, um, the site speed issues on mobile. Structurally, their site's fine. There's just some small things to fix. Overall loads pretty quickly. Uh, let's do that GT metrics test. Oh, actually nine seconds, interesting. Image optimization. Okay, so that's what's going on. So in Screaming Frog, the pages responded very quickly, but the actual images are very slow. So I'll take a screenshot of this and explain what's going on. You've got uh, speed. So pages, and where's the test? I can link to this. So the page HTML loads very quickly, but the content side pages really slows things down. Um, huge images could be image compression. Simple solutions would be image compression, lazy loading. Simple solutions. Um, and there, there is WordPress plugins for all of these things. Since you're on WordPress, there are plugins to solve all of these uh, common issues. Common issues. <laughs> Okay, so let's go back to here. Uh, yeah, compressing could be reduction. So that's easy for parsing. 
Uh, yeah, definitely a caching plugin and a compression plugin could work. Serve from a consistent URL. Yep, mixed content. That's what's going on here. The slider background image is insecure. That's what's going on. So there could be something with their slider plugin that's also causing this. Let's go back to the slider plugin. Secure image to uh, is a WordPress site. I'll just put up here technical. So we'll do HTTPS issues. Put this in a H3. Um, site speed issues. So this means that they have good servers, but their pages are poorly designed. This means your servers are very fast, but your actual pages on your site are slow to load. Da, da, da. Okay, I think this is pretty clear. Some internal 301 redirects could be fixed. So we've got a pretty clear analysis here. There's site speed issues. There's HTTPS issues. SSL slash HTTPS issues. Um, overall link building we talked about. So this is a pretty much a complete analysis. I think, like I said, these, these technical factors are not a big deal. Um, they could easily fix them and quickly bring up their sort of grade to an A. Uh, link building and content is going to be their uphill battle just because this industry is super competitive. And then um, going from there, you know, it's totally realistic to rank. It's not like these guys are doing anything you know, special. They're just doing a lot of work. Um, anyways, I hope that's been a good question here. Can you share the notes with me, please? Connor, since you asked so nicely, I will share the notes with you. Um, just uh, I'll send it over via email so you can see what I found here. Anyways, guys, any last questions before I wrap up? Um, I'm at the one hour mark, and this is supposed to be 30 minutes of office hours. So I'm just going to double check LinkedIn and Facebook to see if there's any other questions. Otherwise, we will wrap things up. Um, cool. I will post. Uh, find a kind of tablet. Cool. Okay. All right. I'll post the notes. Uh, I'll send you the notes, Connor. I've got your email address. If anyone else is interested in getting the notes, feel free to DM me or message me your email address on Facebook in case I don't have it. And I'll be happy to send this over as well. All right, guys, I'm doing this every week. So next week, same time, uh, come on by. I'll post another thing on Facebook to announce when it's live. And uh, we'll see you there. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Hope you have a good weekend. And I'll catch you next week. Thanks, guys. See ya.